Character Adaptation Systems Theory, or CAST, can be thought of as a new big five that works to bridge personality theory with psychotherapy. The key insight that organizes CAST is the idea that there are different systems of character adaptation. Given that human mental behavior is fundamentally about how people adapt to a changing environment, CAS can be thought of as decoding the functional systems that make up the human mind. As will become clear, these systems align with the major traditions in individual adult psychotherapy. Psychotherapy is the process by which professionals have used psychological knowledge to understand how maladaptive patterns get entrenched and the ways in which we, they might be reversed so that more adaptive living can be fostered. Although it is centrally about the systems of adaptation, CAS starts with three broad contexts that frame the processes. First, there is the biological context, which starts at conception in the genetic template of each individual and then unfolds into the person's physiology and anatomy. Next, there's the learning and developmental context. This operates at the level of psychological behavior and orients us to consider distal learning, such as key events that happened in childhood, and proximal learning, which involves recent experiences connected to the particular environmental context that the individual is in. The third context is the socio-cultural context. This can be considered from a socio-ecological lens, moving from the most macro-level societal and large-scale cultural elements into the more meso-level of community and socioeconomic status, and finally into the micro-elements of actual relational change and exchange. With these contextual elements specified, we can move into the five systems of character adaptation, which are the habit system, the experiential system, the relationship system, the defensive system, and the justification system. The habit system involves the most basic processes of learning, including habituation and association, as well as the regular patterns of activity that are part of a person's daily lifestyle. Important patterns of living include sleeping, eating, exercise, substance use, and sexual activity. In terms of many, memory, many habits are ingrained in the procedural memory system. The experiential system includes one's first person phenomenological experience of being in the world. It is organized by perceptions which are referenced against motivational goal states that in turn activate emotional response set. The experiential system involves imaginal wonderings and is connected to one's episodic memory. The relational system is an extension of the experiential system. The key dimensions are mapped by the influence matrix. Central is a sense of relational value and social influence, both in terms of past relations and current and hoped for or imagined futures. The dimensions of power, love, freedom, and dependency serve as guides in the way we intuitively track self-other processes. The defensive system refers to what can be called the psychological immune system. It is activated in response to threatening images, feelings, realizations, or actions from others, which trigger inhibition, avoidance, and enactment of psychodynamic defense mechanisms in an attempt to restore psychic equilibrium. The final system of adaptation is the justification system. This is the reason giving portion of the human psyche that generates narrative and meaning making interpretations and legitimizes what should be and why. It is connected to the semantic memory system. These five systems can be thought of in some ways as analogous to the different organ systems that make up the body. They are both distinct and at the same time, heavily connected and interrelated. The reason is the same as the organ systems are in the body. The person must behave as a coordinated whole. CAST thus situates the person in the current and future environment and the various stressors and affordances that an individual anticipates in the landscape of predicted events. CAST is a central model of the engine that drives human development, a point which will become clearer when we turn to the wheel of development. CAST is part of the unified approach to psychotherapy, and to fully appreciate CAST's place in the unified framework, it's important to know that the systems align with the major paradigms in individual adult psychotherapy. 
The habit system aligns with the behavioral tradition. The experiential system aligns with the humanistic, experiential and emotion focused traditions. The relational and defensive system align with the psychodynamic tradition and the justification system aligns with the cognitive tradition and has obvious connections to the existential and narrative traditions. Overall, CAS provides a way to think about both human personality and psychotherapy and serves as an integrated nexus in the unified framework.